welcome to my first video nail art tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how I made this medieval inspired stained glass window design. If you want to see the inspiration for this look, check the link below. These are the products I used, a gold, silver, and red polish, as well as a base and top coat, and black acrylic paint. To start off, I'm applying a base coat to all my nails to protect them against staining and help the polish adhere. And I also wrap the tips of my nail to help my polish last longer. I apply two coats of polish to increase the opacity. And because this polish tends to show brush strokes, I apply the third coat using a makeup sponge. By painting the polish onto the sponge and then dabbing it on gently, I eliminate the appearance of brush strokes. And the final step before I begin painting is to clean up around my nail with an angled brush and some polish remover. Then I apply a quick dry top coat on top of that and let it dry completely. 15 to 30 minutes is my recommendation. On the middle nail, I'm going to create the window in full. So I'm starting off with a square with black acrylic paint to be my reference point. I'm then creating four equally spaced dots around the square, which will be the basis for the four leaves in the quatrefoil design. Then creating two swooping lines that meet the square, I place my four leaves. Now, for the next part, this is where the fast drying top coat comes into play. If you made some mistakes, like I did, or you don't like how it's looking, you can just scrape off the acrylic paint with an orange stick or a toothpick or a pair of tweezers and redraw them as you like. Next, I'm filling in the center square with a gold polish, which, like my silver polish, is a glass fleck finish, so the particles reflect the light nicely. Then I'm creating four curved corners around the outside of my design, and I'm going to come back and fill these in with a red polish. I'm then going to create a diamond shape in the center of the gold square. Next, I'm going to create the smaller leaf shapes within the four larger leaves. And once those are done, the next touch is to create a bit of veining inside the red corners. Finally, to make the window feature stand out, I'm going to paint around it with black acrylic paint. You can also use black nail polish for this step, um, and if you do use black acrylic paint as I'm doing, you may need two coats of top coat to smooth it out. I then apply my quick drying top coat, which smooths everything out and creates a nice glassy effect. The other three nails are going to celebrate certain features of the window. So on my ring finger, I'm just creating two of the red rounded corners. On my pointer finger, I'm going to create a close-up of one of the four leaves with smaller foliage set within it. To do this, I created one arc and a larger arc around it. And in the center, I begin creating the foliage shape again, which is one pointed arc at the top and then two smaller leaves running down each side. On my pinky nail, I'm creating a larger version of the gold diamond with four dots as my reference points. And if you're using a thin striping brush like I am, it's actually not that difficult to make straight lines. And then filling in the diamond with my gold polish.
After that, I decided to paint with black acrylic paint around the outside edges of the diamond, just like I did on the window finger. I revisited my ring finger and thought it could use some more detail, so I'm just going in and creating more panels. And these I'll fill in with different colors. This is quite abstract, so you can complete this design however you like. So I'm putting gold at the top next to the red, and I'm also going to use some acrylic paint just to diversify the look a bit, and to make sure that no two colors are touching one another on either side. On a similar note, I thought that diamond nail could use more detail, so I'm adding some veining to this nail, which resembles what you might see on a diamond-shaped stained glass window. And then connecting this smaller inner diamond to the outside one with four short strokes. And there's the finished look. I hope you guys like it. If you do, let me know in the comments below. Also feel free to like, share, and subscribe, all the usual stuff, because there are plenty more nail tutorials coming your way. Thank you so much.